Game five, it's all come down to this. Will it be TSM? Will it be Counter Logic Gaming? This game is so tense. One team fight could decide the championship. I think it was a really hyped final because it was double versus former team. Uh, for me in particular, it was I was the guy who replaced him, right? So I guess people were kind of looking to see like, this is like the ultimate test of was it worth it or not? People just knew me, I guess, as like the, the rookie AD carry who maybe was a bit crazy or something. Game five, when he was playing Tristana. Yeah, I think we just put all the trust in it and I just started playing support for him. And here comes Hanser, looks for the play, gets headbutted and gets pulverized around. They knock in sticks, but he's gonna be all right with this one. All I remember was just thinking, it's just this one fight decides the whole thing. I guess like what made me pull the trigger was just pure instinct and maybe not really much thinking behind it. Just kind of, I just saw the opportunity and I, I just went for it. Bjergsen's low stick, oh, he it in, gets hit up, but Q is out, he's still gonna attack. He's trying to he's reset. He's going in for the reset. Yellow Star he's got another down. one. He's going oh for three. Stick save they with the Tristana. I think if I were to think about it, I would have actually like potentially made a mistake there, but I just let my instinct take over and kind of did what felt right to me. It's CLG proof. You can change the players, but the faith remains. And they're going to walk to their second consecutive North American LCS championship. We just put every trust in Trevor to carry us when it matters. It was a really special moment because our first LCS split went to game five in finals versus TSM. and. He delivered. That game gave him a lot of confidence, especially going into MSI as well. I think a lot of people thought he was the best that he carried even in that international tournament. Well, I knew that coming back into North America after like playing internationally, people had really high expectations of me. And I think people expect me to do the best in my role, um, pretty much just be better than everyone else. Um, and I, mean, I definitely feel like I had to live, to live up to that. So I guess the expectations for me were a lot higher. In my career, I never really, I never even really thought about like doubting myself or like maybe I could be worse than someone else until like 2019. Um, before that, I was just purely like, I just thought I was, I was straight up better. And uh, maybe that's like some of the confidence that comes with just being young. But in 2019 spring, I was having some bad games on stage and that was the first time I truly started to feel like maybe I'm not able to stack up to the, some of the other players anymore. Started to feel like, oh, I, I actually am replaceable. Before that year, I never felt that a single time. I always felt like my spot was just guaranteed. I remember there was a game versus TSM. I was playing Ezreal and I just got hooked like two or three times in lane and just died. They've got a very big problem on the bottom side and it might get bigger. I was just looking at the scoreboard and it's like, I don't know, like 13 minutes or something and I'm just 0 4 zero. And I'm just, I remember just almost having like a out of body experience just thinking, wow, like this is me playing in the LCS stage and this is happening. Yeah, I don't know. It was just uh, it was just one of those losses that always like kind of pained me. In the prior years, us having a bad split was ending third or ending fourth, and then it came to be we're ending seventh, we're ending eighth, or we're not even making playoffs. It just kind of feels like you're in a hole that you can't get out of. You know, maybe the game becomes confusing. You're not really sure what you should be doing in the game to win. Um, whereas before, you you didn't even think about that. You just showed up and you just won. I stopped listening to my instinct as much and I started to think more. I started to think about, you know, maybe like the one-off scenarios that could happen in a stage game, you know, like, oh, what if he, what if he was in this bush and I, I just didn't realize it. I would start to think like that instead of just knowing he can't be here, that kind of thing. And that caused me to, I guess, have a lot of doubt in my play. Um, and I think that definitely snowballed as I lost more and more. So I played the whole 2021 year on the team with Golden Guardians. And then at the end of the year, I got told that I 
wasn't going to be playing anymore. And so I was offered a coaching opportunity and I took it because I didn't know what else to do and I didn't have any other offers to play anywhere. We had some visa issues with the Academy 80 carry. They couldn't really find anyone and they were really trying to pressure me because uh, a lot of the people on the team wanted to play with me. I was really hesitant because I'd kind of changed my mind on playing and just thought, you know, maybe I'll just do coaching from now. And it took a lot of convincing from the staff and the players and stuff. And I eventually said, okay, I'll, I'll play. I'll play this split. I had a really good couple months in Academy where, I mean, I, I was like 100% the best, probably the best player in Academy. That kind of re-sparked a lot of my confidence and it made me feel like, okay, I can stand with a lot of the young players. Like I, I, can, still, I can still be that guy. And then the next split I was offered back in the LCS. Oh, oh, 2v2, the roof from Huhi, Sticks and Huhi coming up huge. Whoa, 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 the damage is cool, but Sticks they still got spears and he cleans them all up. Even after multiple years, he always tried to do something really aggressive. He wants to like go kill everyone. And now Sticks is unleashed. I'm glad that um, me and Trevor could show how strong we can be. I'm still looking for that redemption. I just learned to trust myself. Stop second guessing myself. Stop thinking if everything I was doing was wrong. And follow my instinct.